uh, Richard Gubbins and I head up uh, the uh, India Business Group uh, at Ashurst. Um, and we co-hosted uh, the seminar, A New Dawn for India, What Will It Mean for the UK? Um, I was persuaded by Manoj Ladwa, um, who has just come back from orchestrating a fantastic campaign for Narendra Modi in, in, in India. Uh, and we were delighted to uh, uh, have Grant Thornton uh, as our co-sponsor. Um, and uh, it's a very, very exciting time for India. Uh, and we thought it was a great time uh, to host this seminar today. I think it's really, really exciting. Um, I think it was The Economist uh, of May 24th, which happened to be my birthday, uh, to, to say that uh, uh, India has a real opportunity um, and fantastic opportunity um, post-independence in 1947 uh, to really propel uh, India into the next, uh, uh, into, into the next generation. Um, and it is uh, an election that uh, has been inspired by the younger generation. 160 million young people between the ages of 18 and uh, 23, you know, their aspirations and their hopes, their aspirations for, for jobs, uh, their aspirations for better education, for, for better health care, for better living conditions. Um, and for the first time, you know, India now has uh, a government and a prime minister uh, who has a majority. It's the first majority that India's had for, for, for the past 30 years. Uh, and I think there is tremendous hope. We heard the word hope many, many times today. Um, we heard the word optimism. Um, and tempered by the word cautious, cautious optimism. But here we are at the end of the seminar, the end of the day, um, and yes, we have to be cautious um, in, in, in life. We have to be conservative. Um, but the first time, India now has a prime minister, unlike any other prime minister that, that, that uh, uh, India has seen before. And uh, I was really taken by Andy Marino um, in his comments uh, about Narendra Modi. And the book he's just, just written. Um, Narendra Modi is, is apolitical. He's an optimist. He doesn't want to hear no. He's there for the last man. Everybody has to be equal. To put in place development in India benefits the poor disproportionately. Narendra Modi is not ideological, he is interested in ideas. He applies the politics of common sense. Um, is there a worry that uh, uh, he doesn't have a majority in the upper house? No, because um, you know, we heard today that a third have to retire um, and there will be an opportunity uh, for, for replacements to come into the upper house. The upper house needs to pass the legislation that's required for some of these reforms. Yes, that, that will be uh, uh, not problematic, but it'll be a challenge. Um, a consensus has to be arrived at. Um, but it's for the good of the country, it's for the good of India. Uh, we heard today um, that there are vested interests uh, in, in India. Um, but I think Modi will essentially get the job done regardless of those vested interests. Those vested interests, I think, will have to um, uh, toe the party line. We, we heard today about uh, the administration and the executive being aligned. Um, we heard about the work ethic being imposed in, uh, in the various ministries. Um, ministers are going to have to work harder uh, and longer hours and uh, Modi will ensure that that happens. Um, I think the states, uh, in, you know, India is, 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 is becoming less of a, of a federal country. Um, more power is going to be devolved to the states. It is said that Modi is going to have two cabinets, one at the centre and 
one comprising the chief minister of all the states. Well, that makes a lot of sense. I think the states themselves in India are going to have to compete for business. Um, so that's going to be uh, exciting uh, and an inter interesting development. Um, the one word we didn't hear today was confidence. And to my mind, once we have confidence, India will take off. We're all awaiting to see the results of the budget. Uh, the budget will produce the detail uh, that we've all been waiting for. And I think my view is that once we see the budget, once we see the detail, confidence will return, both within India and also in the international investment community. And I think above all, as far as the international investment community uh, is concerned, they have to think long term um, and they have to have trust that India is going to deliver. And uh, I've been involved with India now for the past six years. And if I was a betting man, in my view, India and Modi will deliver. Thank you. Thank you.